Make sure you check out our new sponsor, the Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. Adrian Broner believed he exposed the double standard and some hypocrisy amongst boxing fans in a post he posted on Instagram. I'll link the source in the description. Let's get it going, man. Goodfellow Sports TV, it's your boy CJ Goodfellow grinding today. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, at thehellblaze.com. Promo code Goodfellow One Box to get you 18% off their lotions, lip balm, foot soaks, bath bombs, toothpaste, deodorant, and much, much more. Website promo code once again in the description. Check them out. We're doing giveaways this week as well, too. And uh, Adrian Broner, I'm just going to paraphrase here, says that um, he congratulated Earl and Mikey not to take nothing away from him and said Mikey showed a tremendous heart. But, you know, people praising Mikey Garcia for going 12 round with Earl Spence for a moral victory. And then I'm paraphrasing here. I'll put the source in the description from Instagram so you can read it yourself. But he said, when I, you know, I jumped up two-way classes, fought Paulie for a title, then for Madonna and got beat up, you know, people, um, you know, pretty much, you know, shitted on me and ridiculed me. And I didn't get that love and support that Mikey got. Two different ethnic backgrounds, two different demeanors, two different fan bases, okay? For Adrian Broner not understanding why he didn't get the support he got, no matter what color, he, no, no matter what he said and didn't say, he was always going to get ridiculed. But more, more so because of how ignorant he handles himself. No matter how cocky he handles himself, you made yourself a target. No matter you you believe you're selling your brand, you're selling yourself, that's cool, A.B. At the end of the day, you're rubbing a lot of people wrong, okay? People want to see you lose, not because they thought you was Mayweather, you think you Mayweather, or, or they feel like Mayweather took a loss because you took a loss. No, because you carry yourself in a very ignorant manner. Even your people was happy to see you lose, when I say black people, because you misrepresent us. It's a way to remain, to keep your dignity, remain tasteful, and sell yourself. You come off as an ignorant buffoon that's that's painting a picture of a stereotype for black people. Roy Jones was bashful and boastful, but he wasn't depicted as ignorant, nor was James Tony, And a lot of the times, nor was Floyd Mayweather. Even though he boasted about his money and stuff, Floyd May was a professional. He came to win and in and, and the whole nine. The reason you don't get that love that Mikey get step one is because the ignorance you put off. How you carry yourself, how you drinking, how you doing whatever you doing, throwing change at Walmart saying A B don't need no change. Um burning money. It's how you carry yourself. So people naturally want to see you lose. It was happy you got beat up. Was no moral victory, victory if you for going 12 and Madonna gave Floyd two tough fights after you. You don't get that benefit of the doubt when you're not liked, when you when you rub people the wrong way, when you hate it. And there's what it is. And two, my brother, you are you got melanin in your skin. You was a black guy. So you already know it's a double standard for you being black. Even if we take the way the ignorant things going on, everything we do in the sport of boxing, just to keep it in, in context in boxing, it gets downgraded you know it gets downgraded it's not as celebrated as what a mexican or a white guy or a guy from the uk or asian would do it seemed to be norm for us to be able to do extra terrestrial things in sports and in life so you got to understand you ask some dumb question on instagram i debunk two 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 reasons why in under four minutes so don't try to sit out here and get celebrated. But before I get to that part, yeah, you already know those two things right there is the reason why. Your ignorance, you know what I'm saying, that you put off, stereo, you, you plan into a stereo, stereotype of black people, and the color of your skin in the sport of boxing is why you don't get the credit that you think you you thought you deserved, but you don't get a moral victory. And three, without you know, before we get to those three things, people don't like you. People don't like you. You know, yeah, I don't know if it's a news flash to you. You were one of the most hated people in the sports. Floyd was hated in the beginning because he was too damn good. He made a living off beating the hell out of Mexicans. Adrian Broner, you made a living off doing ignorant shit. People do not like you. At some point in time, people liked it. It was cute. It was like a, a kid cussing 
and you saying no, oh, oh it's cute or or doing better. He grow out of it. He will mature. He 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 will learn from his mistakes. That's what it was about Adrian Brown. He will learn. He will mature. He will get better. But you got ignorant and more ignorant. You never mature. And you was doing it for the camera. You were a very smart guy, but you know the ignorance. People don't like it. You know you should have grew up and did it in a more tasteful manner. But people don't like you. So the people that don't like you because for one, you you know you black. For two, you ignorant. And people already don't like you. You playing into a black stereotype. And three, you know people just don't like you. What you represent, flashing the money and 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 and, and, and making excuses and doing ignorant stuff at Walmart, CVS, and in the strip clubs and punching people, getting shot at. You're not progressing as a person. You're not learning. From your mistakes, you go and then you go into the ring and you do the same thing every time. You get your ass beat. You get your ass beat. Now, those are the reasons why people don't don't like Adrian Broner. You know what I'm saying? And that's and that's real shit. That's why you don't get the benefit of the doubt of Mikey. Mikey don't misrepresent his people. You know what I'm saying? Mikey don't misrepresent his people. He don't act ignorant. He don't tarnish his family name. He uphold with dignity his people's name. As Mexican and Mexican Americans, he does that, you know, and, and that's what Adrian Broner got to understand. When you play the role he played and, and play it to the T, that's what happened. But, um, but Adrian Broner know why, you know, he want to sit there act stupid and 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 go on Instagram and try to get clout and trying to people say, oh, you right, man. A B did go in there versus Madonna and jump up two weight classes. And fight like a warrior for 12 rounds. They get off the canvas. And he did try. And to a certain extent, Adrian Broner tried to win that fight. Even though he got dropped several times in that fight, he still tried to win to the end. He didn't. He he wasn't safety first or or mailing in Broner what he is now. Or come to survive, survival mode Broner. He went in there and tried to still compete versus Madonna and fought like a true warrior. I will give him credit for that. Mikey went in there. To survive 12 rounds to get a moral victory. I don't think Adrian Broner was looking for a, a moral victory. He still tried. He tried to win. He tried to save his own. Ultimately, it didn't happen. But he deserved credit over Mikey for that, if anything. Because he tried to the end. Mikey Garcia stopped trying around the fourth round. Broner tried for all 12 rounds. Got off the canvas. Got hit in the jaw. Broner, I mean, but not a headbutt in him. He got up, tried again, like Aaliyah said. He kept trying and trying and trying and trying. From that aspect of it, he get he gets great, 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 great respect from me from that. Because he could have quit and mailed it in. He showed the heart of a lion. But he knew if he quit versus Madonna, he quit versus anybody else, he could never go back to Cincinnati and get that love again. He wouldn't be able to take an L to Sean Porter, take an L to Mikey Garcia, take an L for Manny Pacquiao, and still be able not to to elude the gatekeeper moniker, you know. And he said in the, in the note at the end, he will be world champion again. I don't know, you know. He talking about the USBA belt or the NBO belt, or I don't know what he's talking about the Commonwealth European belt. He said he want to go over to the UK and fight. I don't see him being world title holder again, man. It's a wrap, especially at, at forty or forty seven. He done what he had to do in the sport of boxing. He made a ton of money. Go reinvest your money in real estate. Start a business. Start selling clothes. Focus on about business promotion. But they really should be telling him it's time to hang it up. I heard it's rumors that he could fight Jose De Lopez. Those are just rumors. But like I said before, Mikey get respect because Mikey got the full support of his people. He 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 upholds his 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 family name. He upholds his Mexican people name with dignity and integrity. You sir do not. You get to the point where. Your own people turn against you, not by will, but by your, by, by, not by their will, by your will, your actions, coming up short, acting ignorant, being belligerent, you know, making, playing into a stereotype. That's why you don't get the credit. That's why you didn't get the credit for, 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 for moral victory in Madonna. You know, and black people, we don't give out moral victories. No way, man. Either you win or you don't win. Shane Mosey jumped up and won. You know, he did jump up and win. Why A.B. couldn't do it? Because A.P. ain't no shame, motherfucking most. My Roger Mayweather boys, the motherfucker don't know shit about boxing. But I appreciate everybody for checking in. Good fellow Sports TV. We working. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, 
or a video request. Other than that, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Dale Blaze, at DaleBlaze.com. Promo code Goodfellow One Box and get you 18% off the 100% all natural products from you know lotion, soaps, foot soaks, and much, much more. Uh, check out my website, promo code in the description. We'll be going live at some point tonight. Um, probably take a nap real quick. But hey, it's Goodfellow Sports TV. One time for the one time. We gone.